Welcome back to Mrs. Riley's Maths uh, videos. We're going to work through this Junior Cert Sample 2 from the Educate Papers, uh, Paper 2, Question 7. It says it's only five minutes, so let's see how we get on. In the diagram, A, B and A and C, D are diameters. So A, B and C, D are diameters of the circle with centre O. Prove that the triangles A, O, C and D, B, O are congruent. So we've got a circle, we've got two diameters that are intersecting each other, and this is the centre. So this must be a radius, this must be a radius, this must be a radius, and this must be a radius. We're proving that the triangles AOC and DBO are congruent. So let's just draw this out again. Um, and let's fill in what we have. So this is D, B, C, and A. We know that these lengths are the same and this length is the same. We know that this angle and this angle are the same because they're vertically opposite. So can we prove congruency? Well, it looks to me like we're going to use side angle side to prove. And what we'll say is that uh, side, this is O, side AO is equal to side um, BO radius. That's a side. A, as we're going to say, angle, which is really angle AOC, is equal to angle, which is equal to angle DOB, because they're vertically opposite. And then side, we can say that OC is equal to OD, uh, because they're radius. So we've got side angle side okay here's the next question again it's from educate papers sample 2 question 5 dotted lines are drawn on square sheets of paper with sides of length 8 centimeters the areas to the left of the dotted lines are shaded as shown show that the areas of the two shaded regions are equal so here we have a uh, square that's been cut into two with a diagonal so this is a shaded area, which is a triangle. So let's just call this A and let's call this B. So in our triangle A, this is shaded. We have that this is eight and we have that this is eight. Well, we were told this was eight, but this must also be eight and this must be eight. So this is a triangle. So the area is equal to a half times base times height, which equals um, a half by eight by 8, which is a half of 64, which is 32 centimetres squared. Okay, and then let's look at this other one. So in this other one, we have um, a square. And are we told that it's in half? Are we told where the dotted line um, dotted lines are drawn on square sheets of paper with sides of length 8. So actually, we're not told that this is split down the middle, but I guess we're assuming if that's eight, that that's four, and that's four, and that's eight, and eight, and four, and four. So the shaded area here, area equals um, width times length for a rectangle. So it's going to be four times eight, which is 32 centimeters squared. And then uh, finally, this question here, which is uh, again, educate papers at sample one, paper two, question 14. So T is a tangent. So this is a tangent. A tangent is a line that touches a circle at one point to the circle. And O is the center of the circle X, Y, W. Sorry, at center of the circle X, Y, W. <coughs> X, Y, W is 40 degrees. And Z, Y, W is 50 degrees. Find W, V, Y. So we're being asked to find, so that's that, that's that, W, V, Y. We're being asked to find this angle here. Okay, so this is W, V, Y. Now let's look and see. What we have is we have a diameter, if you've noticed that. And so the angle at the edge on the diameter is 90 degrees. So this whole angle is 90, so that's 40. That's the first thing. Um, the second thing to say is that this here is a radius. 
and this is a radius. So this angle and this angle must be the same because it's an isosceles triangle, so that's 50. So that makes that 50 and 40 is 90. So that whole angle is 90, that angle is 50, so this angle must be whatever's left. So what do we have? We have, we've got a 90 degree angle plus a 50 degree angle. So that's 140 degrees. So V is going to be the remaining angle in a triangle. So V is equal to 180 degrees minus 140 degrees, which equals 40 degrees. Okay. So we now know that this is 40 degrees. Use, using congruent triangles or otherwise prove that ZW Z, W is here, is equal to V, Y is here. So let's use congruent triangles, seen as we've been working on that recently. So let's draw our triangles now. What triangles do you think we're going to use? I think we might use this triangle, V, O, Y. So triangle V, O, Y. Let's draw that. And triangle Z, Z, O, W is like that. So these are the two triangles we're going to work with. So we've got V, Y, O, and Z, O, W. So what can we fill in on this? Let's look back up here. So V, O, Y, we know that this angle here equals this angle here because they're vertically opposite. So here and here equals. So um, we have an angle. We know that this side here, uh, VO, equals this side here, equals this side here, equals this side here, because they're all radiuses. So I think it's going to be side, angle, side. So let's do VO is equal to OZ radius. Let's do um, this angle. Angle equals angle vertically opposite. Now, really, we should write that. So measure of angle V, O, Y is equal to measure of angle Z, O, W, because they're vertically opposite. And then finally, length of O, Y is equal to length of O, W, uh, because they're radius each a radius. So triangle VOY is congruent to triangle ZOW. So length VY is equal to length ZW. QED.